The Story of Yasuhiro Yamashita, written by Libby Muir and Sunny Villapondo. Yasuhiro was originally from a small island in the southern part of Japan, in a town called Amami Kagoshima. While he always loved being creative and pursuing hands-on projects, never in his wildest dreams did he think it was even possible for him to become an architect. Nevertheless, Yasuhiro obtained a master's degree in architecture from Shibora Institute of Technology. After working for multiple different architectural firms, he decided to create his own with the name Tekuto. Tekuto is how the latter half of the word architect is pronounced in Japanese. Te meaning the heaven or the universe, ku meaning technology, to meaning people. In creating his own architecture firm, his goal was to continue to design for the satisfaction and well-being of not only his clients, but more importantly, society. After the great Hanshin earthquake in 1995, he became increasingly engaged in disaster relief programs and creating affordable housing. Traditional Japanese architecture had always felt very veiled according to Yasuhiro, and so he was on a mission to change just that. An example of seemingly veiled traditional Japanese architecture is shown above. In order to create lower cost buildings, he would literally cut the edges of the houses he built, resulting in a more geometric shape in categorizing his work as minimalistic. While it is easy to marvel in the work itself, Yasuhiro Yamashita was and continues to be on a miraculous journey to help those in need by way of architecture. And to conclude this short story of Yasuhiro Yamashita, I leave you with a message from Yasuhiro himself. Everything is borderless, so don't be limited. Try to have a wide view, and the most important thing is to contribute to society and not just yourself.